Welcome to September's LeetCo Challenge. This problem is called Unique Email Addresses. Every valid email consists of a local name and a domain name separated by the at sign. Besides lowercase letters, the email may contain one or more periods or plus symbols. For example, alice at leetco.com. Alice is the local name and LeetCo is the domain name. If you add periods between some characters in the local name part of the email address, mail sent there will be forwarded to the same address without dots in the local name. So if we add like alice.z, that's going to be the same as alice z. If you add a plus in the local name, everything after the first plus sign will be ignored. So this allows certain emails to be filtered. Note that this rule does not apply to domain names. So if we had a plus in the email.com, that would still remain the same. but this here, we're going to ignore the plus symbol. So that's just going to be my at email.com. So it's possible to use both of these rules at the same time. And given an array of strings emails where we send one email to each email, return the number of different addresses, addresses that actually receive emails. So there's really no reason to complicate this too much. What we're going to do is separate our string with the at symbol. The second part is going to be the domain name and the first part is going to be the local name. And the local name, we will remove the periods. And if we see a plus symbol, we're just going to skip everything else that comes after. So let's have, uh, call it emails. No, no, no. We'll call it, hmm. Uh, I guess we'll call it lookup. And this will just be a set of all the different emails. We're going to go for E in emails. Let's first split it by the local and domain. So e, e dot split by the at symbol. Next, we're going to have to have a temporary array here. And we'll say for all the characters in local. Thing is, if it's a period, then we're just going to continue, skip it. Uh, else, or I should just say if C equals a plus symbol, then we're going to break our loop. Otherwise, add to our temp list whatever characters inside there. And we're going to add to our lookup now. Let's see, we'll do a string join of the temporary array. And we're going to add the local name to that as well here. Let's see, uh, we'll say at plus domain. Finally, just return the length of the lookup. And that should be it. So let's make sure this works here. Okay, it looks like it's working. There we go. So time complexity is going to be n, O of n times, let's say, k, k being the average length of all our emails. Uh, and space complexity will be the same, fortunately, because of our temporary array. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.